Okay. So, if they say, for example, what is the valency of the elements below? Elements below. For example, the first element, let's say I put in sodium. So I go on the periodic table, I find sodium looks like this. It's number 11, 23. And then I find the EC. I think I've taught you this in the previous. The EC is 2,8,1. So when I want to know the valence, I always look at the last number here. The last number here. Is it one, is it two, is it three, or is it four? If it is one, I should write it. If it is two, I should write it. If it is three, I should write it. If it is four, I should write it. But if it is five, it is six, it is seven, it is eight, it is nine, don't write it. You remember I said it should not be above four? I, I said the last valence I should have, maximum should be four. Starting from five and above, don't write. So you look at the last number. What is my last number? One. So therefore, I say the valency is one. Okay. Second element. What's the valency of uh, chlorine, for example? Corinne is C L seventeen thirty five. E C it is two comma eight comma seven. So I look at the last number. This last number. Is the number one? No. Is the number two? No. Is the number three? No. Is the number four? No. Have you seen it is above it, it is above four, this number. Once a valence once it the last number is above four, you cannot put a valence that is eh? Five, that is six, that is seven, that is eight. Remember what I said? Because the valence should only be between one and four. So it should either be one, should either be two, three, four, that's all. So since it is seven, you always subtract from eight to get the valence. So the valence for this one, it will be eight minus the last number seven, which is going to give me one. So say therefore, the valence is what? One. Because the number is big, so you always subtract from eight. This is a valence. It just goes like that for all elements. For all elements. Okay? If it is calcium, for example, calcium is CA20, I mean 40 there, 20 here. You see, it's 2, 2,8,8,2. I check the last number. What is my last number there? The last number is 2. Uh, 2 is, is between 1 and 4. So you just write it the way it is. So therefore, the valence here is what? Eh? It's 2. But imagine this number here if it was 5 instead of 2. That means you have to subtract from 8. I hope you have understood now. You need to know valences are very important. You'll be using them in, 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 in as time is going. So you need to know them. Because we use them in practicals, we use them in, in chemical formulas, in everything that we're going to do, you need to know how to do this. So I'm creating a foundation for you so that you are very equipped.